Hi everyone, today we're gonna learn about profile leveling. This is still part of our topic measurement of vertical distances. Now what is profile leveling? Profile leveling is the process of determining differences in elevation along a fixed line at designated short measured intervals. This topic class is somehow very very similar to differential leveling. Ang nakalahi lang anin nila kay aduna na siya designated intervals. Okay? So, ang differential leveling is wala man siya specific na distance from instrument or from turning point to turning point. Sa profile leveling, nanon tayo designated short intervals. Okay? So, profile leveling is executed to provide data from which a vertical section always uh, I want you to remember this one vertical section of the ground surface can be plotted a profile is necessary for the design of construction of roads railroads canals culverts bridges sewer lines and etc importante kani ang profile leveling class especially maabot na mo sa inyo hang highways and transportation engineering especially sa pag-construct roads mga alignment sa bridges sama sa to ang mga projects karon sa Cebu City so this is very very important so this is a very simple illustration here so as you can see ang naka-advantage sa profile leveling class is that every time you have your back side and your foresight dili ka magsigi og transfer sa imong instrument as you can see here naalantay upat ka um, instrument position unlike sa differential leveling permita mag balin balhin whenever na atay back side foresight and then transfer back side na sad niya foresight and then transfer now in case na libog mo aning nasa ubos this is a top view yung top view ni siya aning side view okay kani siya so this is a top view kining nasa ubos kini sila and then kining nasa baba this is or those are uh, side views okay so that is uh, profile leveling now before we can proceed with profile leveling we have to acquaint ourselves with the additional terms in profile leveling katong mga terms sa uh, differential leveling ma apply gyapon to dinhi Nalan siya additional nga term ang profile leveling sama sa word nga profile no the profile is a curve line which basin ma confuse man yung curved line which graphically portrays the intersection of the vertical plane with the surface of the earth okay so this is the a simple illustration of a profile so if you are going to view this one this section as you can see here cross section if you are going to view this one at the top all you can see is line no that is why niana siya a profile is a curved line so na curve siya so dire tan-aw na to sa side view pero gimo siyang tan-aw dito sa babaw no straight line na siya okay gikat man ang earth surface with the vertical plane no na siya kung baga mura sad mo og maka-imagine class nga nag-slice mo og bread okay so ini slice nimo sa bread mo ni siya imong makita ani na pero tan-aw nimo ang bread at top view line ra imo hang nakat ngadto sa bread okay so that is the term profile next is Number two, we have stationing. Okay, a stationing is a numerical designation given in terms of horizontal distance. Any point along a profile line that is away from the starting point. Okay, so we have two types of stationing. We have full stations and we have what we call plus stations. Full stations are points which are established along the profile level route at uniformly measured distances. These points are usually made in multiples of 100, 50, 
30, 20, and 10 meters. Here in Philippines class, usually ang atuang station is every 20 meters. Muna kung gi red na din na. But na gya punta mag mag serving uh, every 100 meters, 50 meters, but usually 20 meters gina siya. Okay? And then we have plus station. These are station nga dili mga gitawag og full station. So, dili siya kaabot og 20 meters nga distance from station to station. These points are taken at breaks in the ground, surface slope, and at critical points. No, remember ha, na tayo gitawag nga critical points such as mga culverts, mga bridges, and other structures. Okay? So, the sample for that is this one, no? So, this is, again, this is the side view. GL here is ground line. As you can see here, station 1 to station 2, we have 10 meter distance. So, both pasabot, ang iyahang stationing ang every 10 meters, sa kining illustration. So, from 2 to 3, 10 meters. As you can see, 10 meters sila tanan. But, if you have noticed, not I X, oh, my X. Na, my X. So, gitawag na to og plus station. Because, wala man siya kaabot og 10 meters. Igi mo nang i-project dito sa babaw, tanawa. Importante man sa nga ato ni siya ma-portray sa profile. Kay og, gika nang ta sa 5, nga to sa 6, di na to ma-feature ang station X. So, we need this station. So, that means, muna siya gitawag nga plus station. Kani siya. Okay? So, on saan man pag-write sa mga stationing set? Okay, muna siya. So, for example, naatay 20 meter full station. Okay. So, full station ta ha? So, sugod ta sa 0 plus 0, 0, 0 meters. Muna yung pinakauna nga station. Since 20 meter full station man ta, the next station will be 20 meters. So, 0 plus 0, 20. Next is 0 plus 0, 40. Next is 0 plus 0, 60. 0 plus 0, 80. 0 plus 100. Until maabot siya og 0 plus 980. Now, so ang pag-write na to, sa sulog na station, ane? so plus 20 lang ta. This time, unsa na siya? 1 plus 0, 0, 0. Buot pa sa buot ane, naabot na ta og 1,000 meters or 1 kilometer. Okay? So, muna siya ang pag-write sa full station. Sa pika spot, na po din ang plus station. For example, naan na ta sa 2 plus 380 meter nga station. So, kung every 20 meter atong full station, so ang next nga station niya, is 2 plus 400, 2 plus 420, 2 plus 440, 2 plus 460. And then, for example, na atay gustong i-feature before ta maabot sa 480, for example, na ay ravine or kanang nikalit lang o buslot sa yuta or uh, depression sa yuta. So, wala siya kaabot o 20 meters from 2 plus 460. So, imutong kuha ng elevation, o niya, imo siyang butang o station nga, sama ni Kunuhay. 2 plus 475.25. So, muna siya gitawag nga plus station. Kani siya, no? Na, dili siya full nga 20 meters. Good. So, next niya nga full station is 2 plus 480. Next is 2 plus 500 and so on. Okay? So, muna siya ang nakalahi sa full station and plus station station. Okay, next, we have intermediate foresight. What is intermediate foresight? Now, if you can still remember with differential leveling class, natin gitawag nga foresight. Now, I want to remind everybody na when it comes to foresight, para lang to siya sa turning point. Now, na naman tayo gitawag nga intermediate foresight. Ang intermediate foresight Sometimes, tawag ko na siya o ground rod readings. No? Kaning intermediate foresight, para lang ni siya sa mga stations. Balik ta ni nga illustration. As you can see here, na din ang 
instrument na to. So, nga to sa station A, as you can see there, station A, muna siya ang iyahang intermediate foresight. Buot pa sa buot, gikan sa instrument ni sight siya padulong sa A. Kani po siya, intermediate foresight po na para sa B, intermediate foresight para sa C, IFS para sa D, and so on. So, muna siya ang ikatulong na term sa profile leveling. Next is the profile paper. It is very important nga ma plot na to ang ato ang profile sa Osaka paper. So usually din hi sa atua ang ginagamit cross sectional paper or graphing paper. So sama aning illustration din hi. So na siya graphing paper. As you can see, iyang gi depict ang ground surface. As you can see here, we have a ravine. So, dili siya full station, pero na plot gihapon siya kay pag-survey ani, for sure, gikuha ani siya og reading. Dili gini siya ingon class ha nga, in ani good gabi ha, good ani sir, good katungason ani sir, no. Na-compress lang ang scale sa imuhang yuta. As you can see here, every 1 kilometer ang iyahang ko ano, iyahang distance. So, 1 plus 0, 0, 2 plus 0, 0. 3 plus zero, every 1 kilometer. So, both pa sa both, from this point up to that point, that is 1 kilometer. So, mura lang siya tungasun ka ayo, tanahon, kay na compressed man ang scale sa tuang graph or sa tuang profile. So, on, maghimo niya taani after ta mag-answer sa tuang problem. But from this given profile leveling notes, we are going to compute the elevation at each stations here. The difference in elevation between Station 0 plus 0 040 and 0 plus 180. And then we are going to construct the profile of the ground based on the on the computed elevations here. Okay. Now before tamo answer any class, kini sa kwan. Ako sang i discuss ang procedure on sa unisa paghimu ang profile leveling. Sa profile leveling party, na putay duhaka subgroup or sub survey party ang pinaka una nga subgroup is ang road survey party from the word itself road both pa sa both sila mo determine sa direction sa toang roadway or ang center line sa toang roadway so for example this is our first station kani siya so ato lang example nga every 10 meter station ta so Ato ni siyang hinganlan o 0 plus 0, 0, 0. And then next nga, station, kay 10 meters man, assumed lang nga ato ang full station is 10 meters. So, ang next next station is 0 plus 0, 10, 0 plus 0, 20. We have 0 plus 0, 30, 0 plus 0, 40. 0 plus 0, 50, and so on. 0 plus 0, 60, 0, 70, 0 plus 0, 80, 0 plus 0, 90, and 0 plus 100. We have 10 station. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So, this is our road. No? So, kung baga, muna siya ang tuang center line sa ato ang roadway. Now, by the way, I want to remind everybody nga, kini atong illustration nyo, this is top view ha, this is not side view, this is top view. So, aerial view ni siya, kung baga, mura tag nag-drone ani. So, after na establish na to ang center line sa to ang road, musunod na yun ang leveling survey party. Ang buhaton sa leveling survey party is to find a convenient location for our instrument. So, for example, here, no, this is our instrument. This is top view. Huh? Shall we say this is theodolite or engineer's level or engineer's transit. So, that would be our HI1. That means that would be our first instrument position. Now, after setting up and leveling our instrument, the first na data ang inyong makuha is mubak site yung kangad to sa Benchmark. So, for example, this is our assumed benchmark. Ang unag yun yung mong kuhaon ng data is ang backside. 
after back sighting benchmark ano ginggit hinganan siya og back sight because ang benchmark known ang iyang elevation mo nang hinganan siya og back sight nga reading after back sighting benchmark that is the time you will sight your first na station since station man siya ang tawag ana niya is IFS or intermediate foresight okay next is intermediate foresight na pod sa sunod nga station now the good thing about profile leveling is that as long as makita lang nimo ang mga station you can have readings you don't have to transfer every time nga naa kay readings unlike sa differential leveling every time ka mga backsight na every time ka mag foresight mo balhin ka ang nakalindot sa profile leveling as long as readable pa ang numbers sa imuhang leveling rod o clear pa ang imuhang imuhang station that means you can have your intermediate foresight so like this one so intermediate foresight after ana intermediate foresight na sad intermediate foresight now for example ang 0 plus 0 40 na ay obstruction din eh kunuhay lang no na obstruction so dili siya readable so mo establish dayon ang imuhang radman og turning point unsa ganitoy meaning anang turning point it is an intervening point para maka proceed ta sa next nga instrument position now after establishing turning point ayo sag balhin kay ngano man imo pa man siyang foresightan ayo good og balhin class o instrument position kung wala pa ni ma foresight ang imuhang turning point 1 so after foresighting turning point 1 that is the time now you will transfer to another location pangita mo og convenient location nga kung mahimo mas daghan kang makita nga station para makahimo ka sa imuhang intermediate foresight so that would be our height of instrument 2 so after setting up and leveling the instrument here every time ka mahuman og setting up og leveling the transit or any instrument like theodolite mo backside yun ka sama sa tong ibuhat diri ganiha after setting up the transit or the instrument backside yun ka so every time ka mahuman og set up sa instrument dapat mo backside yun ka this time atong ibackside tan is ang turning point 1. So, after backsighting turning point 1, you can now proceed with your stationing. So, intermediate foresight, intermediate foresight, intermediate foresight, intermediate foresight. So, for example, sa 0 plus 0, 080, di na po siya readable. Di na nakakabasa sa numbers sa imuang leveling rod or na na siya obstruction somewhere there. So, imong buhat to, mag-establish na po ka another turning point and that is turning point Two. So, before ka mabalhin, dapat imuhang foresightan ang turning point 2. After ana, transfer ka to a convenient place or location. Example din he. So, after setting up and leveling the instrument, consider that as your instrument position 3 or the HI3. So, after setting up the instrument, ayog yung kalimot o backside. Okay? So, after backsighting turning point 2, that is the time mo proceed na kasi mong survey with the intermediate foresight. No? So, intermediate foresight sa 080, 90, 100, 120, and so on. So, that is the procedure on how to do profile leveling survey. Okay. So, let us answer our sample problem. Okay. Let us say that money siya ang mga data na ito nakuha dito. Since medyo taas-taas man ang solution na ni class, so it will give us a, a lot of slides. Akong buhato din ni, eh, is ako lang i-share ninyo ang pattern on how to obtain these elevations here. No? Kanis yung na din ni. Eh. So first ana is, prehas ato ang differential leveling from the elevation, benchmark 1. So elevation plus backside. Again, Akong i-review ha, atong i-review. Ang backside, ang Fermi plusan sa backside is ang elevation. Okay? So from this elevation benchmark 1, lupa ta rin pa plus backside. So
So, equals to 201.285. Okay. Now, next is, gikan din hi, sa imong height of instrument, di ba, mo minus mo ka sa obos, mo go down ka, and then equal to, kana, 198.94. Now, if you notice class, usara ito ang height of instrument. Okay. Dili ni siya priya sa differential leveling, ha? Na, daghan kay og height of instrument. Kay pirmi man ta nagbalhin-balhin ato. Din he, pure kay ato ang height of instrument. Now, akong ishare ninyo nga whenever na ay backside gani, na yun na siya height of instrument. Kung walay backside, no, kaning mga station, wala man siya backside, wala na siya data sa height of instrument. Ang katurang data, nga na ay backside, moto siya na ay height of instrument. So, Kung saman nga mga station na, benchmark 1, turning point 1, turning point 2, and all the turning points. Naman na sila yung mga backside. So, na na sila yung mga height of instrument. So, since this is instrument position 1, so the same naman siya og instrument position, sunod na tong button is, gikan niya gyapon, same instrument position, or same height of instrument, minus the intermediate foresight. Now, sir, ano minus man ni, sir? No, di man plus. Di man eh, ang foresight, I mean, ang intermediate foresight is also a foresight. Kung sa ganito atong rule sa differential leveling, ang minusan sa foresight is ang height of instrument. Okay? Muna ito man eh. So, height of instrument 1 minus intermediate foresight equals na Sunod na po, kana na po siya. Equals, kana siya. Then, 201.285 minus intermediate foresight for 080 equals. Na. Then, this one na po, 201.85 minus intermediate foresight here, it will give us the elevation. That is now the elevation of 0 plus 100. Now, as you can see here, ni transfer man ta whenever makakita mo gin ani nga data nga na turning point both pa sa both ni transfer ka og instrument position mo na kong gisulti gani nga ay yung kalimot og foresight kay with foresight makompute ni mo ang elevation sa usa ka station kung wala gani kay foresight wa gyud kay elevation nga makuha okay so the same instrument position minus the intermediate i mean the foresight of turning point 1. So, that will be equal to 200.521. Okay. So, this is the elevation of turning point 1. After computing elevation of turning point 1, next is, we are going to compute the next instrument height. So, from here, balik na po ka dito. Elevation plus backside. Sa kung yung gani ha, na gani siya yung backside, na gina siya yung new height of instrument. So, that is equal to, na, muna siya. Muna siya ang new height na instrument. Both pa sa both, ni balihin na ta. Naitabuan ni class ang turning point 1, na himo na tong benchmark 1. No? Na. Okay? So, after na compute na to ang height of instrument, 2, sunod na to is same pattern as had. Height of instrument minus intermediate foresight equals. Next, same height of instrument equals. Then, same height of instrument minus intermediate foresight equals. Okay? Hopefully, na nakuha na ninyo ang, ang iyahang pattern. Next, height of instrument minus intermediate foresight for 180 equals. Then, for turning point 2, same height of instrument minus foresight equals the elevation of turning point 2. Since naman tayo backside and since ni transfer naman sa taog station sa tuang instrument, that means mo compute na sa taog third nga height of instrument which is din he. So after that one, pak, lupa na po kanini, pak, okay? So plus, so that will give us a new height of instrument, 200.979. And then, next is, mo 
new height of instrument minus intermediate foresight equals height of instrument minus equals and last is height of instrument minus intermediate foresight equals the elevation the last elevation of the last station which is 0 plus 240 okay so in ana lang ang ato ang pattern sa pag-solve sa elevation sa ato ang profile leveling okay so complete na ato ang tabulation unsa gyud ato requirement so letter a elevation at each stations b difference elevation between 0 plus 040 and 0 plus 180 and the third one is we are going to construct the profile of the ground. So that means letter A, na answer na naman tani, check na na siya. Muna ni ang answer na to sa tuang letter A. So letter B is difference in elevation between 0 plus 040 and 0 plus 180. So we have here 0 plus 040. Elevation of 0 plus 040. And elevation of 0 plus 180 so bigger minus smaller lang so that will be de this elevation is 180 and 199 is 0 plus 0 40 that one so the answer is 1.289 meters so that is our answer minus lang okay so letter c is we are going to construct the profile of the ground. So I have inserted here a picture of a cross-sectional paper. So first, we are going to draw a horizontal line for the stationing, vertical line for the elevation. And then you are going to divide the horizontal line into equal divisions. You are going to label that one. Ito nang i-label sa mga station. Okay? Na. After po na na, i-move na po din siyang i-divide into division. Okay? Like that one. So, pangitaa class dito sa imong data, unsay pinakaubos o pinakalong nga elevation. mo imong starting din. Huwag unsa po ang pinakataas. So, for example, ang pinakalong nga elevation na dito sa mga 198. So, siguro magpwede ka magsugod rin 197. Ayaw, isugod o zero. Kaya huwag zugod og zero, maabot ka rin eh. Pranitan ang highest elevation nyo na sa 202 meters, pino na kayo imuhang mga numbers. And then inigdraw nyo mo siyang profile, muna nang kagadraw og straight line. So, it would be better na tanaw nyo mong pinaka lowest na elevation sa imuhang computed elevation and then pinapilapot ang pinaka highest. So, in this case, ang pinaka lowest na elevation nito is 198. So, ni go beyond ko sa 197 198 99 200 201 202 and 203 as you have noticed na ako sa middle both pasabot those are point fives no okay so like 197 197.5 198 198.5 and so on okay after that one we are going to plot now the first elevation as you have noticed class Guys, walay turning point o walay benchmark. Mag-construct ganita sa ito ang profile sa ground, sa ito ang road. Dili na ito i-appeal ang turning point o benchmark. Kaya ang turning point o benchmark, wala man na siya labot sa ito ang roadway. Wala man na siya labot sa center line sa ito ang road. So, ang ito i-plot lang din he, is ang ito ang station elevation sa to ang mga station so first station na atay 198.940 next kana next for 0 plus 0 60 na so imo lang i-plot ang mga points din na class no okay na hantod maabot ka sa last inig abot nimo sa last imo na siyang i-connect ang dots okay pero inig connect nimo ayo paggamit og ruler Okay, wala may tulid nga yuta. So, yung mong button is i-connect lang na siya by freehand. Okay, freehand. Sama sa inyong gi nakita gani ha, na gi freehand lang to siya. So, muna siyang hitsura sa toang profile. 
Basin mga tanong mo sir, labiya po ang nga buhok yun sir, oy. Nagsurbig yun sila nga buhok yun. Dili. Again, akong isulti ninyo na na-compress lang ito ang horizontal nga scale. Si man e, this is 20 meters. So, bot pa sa bot, medyo softer ni siya slope kung atog yung e, tarungon of scale. Okay? So, this is now our profile. So, nakita ninyo, mura na siya o ground. Okay? Now, sir, on sa may gamit ani niyang profile nga atong i-plot, sir? So, for example, na atay proposed nga roadway. Kani, no? Kunuhay mo ni ato ang proposed nga roadway. Timan niya, mo ni siya, side view na ni siya, ha? So, mo ni siya ang proposed nga roadway. So, may tabo. Atong buhaton din eh, mo ni siya ato ang i-excavate para mo patag. Din eh, kay bangag man siya, ato pong butangan o yuta din ang dapita. Para mo, mo horizontal siya din ang dapita. Kani siya din ang dapita, mo ni siya imuhang i-excavate na po. Yeah, maybe some part of that soil, ay mo na pong i-fill din eh, para ma establish na ang roadway. So, muna siya ang gamit aning profile sa to ang ground. Makumpute man mo ang volume of excavation dere class of ang volume of fill din he. Dapita. Volume of fill, volume of excavation, volume of excavation, and volume of fill. Sa kini nga, nga profile from 020 to 040, makumpute mo actually ang volume ani nila na imong i-excavate o imong i-backfill. Okay? So, muna gamit sa tuang profile leveling na fieldwork. Hopefully, class na nasabta ninyo and hopefully, na-internalize ninyo ito ang um, topic. So, I just want to remind everybody na please, please, please do not take surveying lightly. This is very, very important part of our subject ang um, leveling because this is measuring vertical distances sama na po niya sa measuring horizontal distances and measuring angular um, values okay so hopefully na grasp na ninyo ato ang principle sa profile leveling i think that's all for now so have a good day and god bless